On our way home, we decided to take the road less traveled. Thank you for joining in another episode of Follow the Sun RV, where I'll take you through Idaho and Wyoming on our way home. As we went through part of the Treasure Valley along the Snake River, we found more agriculture, including these hops fields. So you, if you're a beer lover, you gotta love this place. We crossed the Snake River several times throughout Idaho and Wyoming. Not an unusual sight when you're in farmland. We spent our first night at the Cove Recreation Site, a cute little lake hidden in the Bruno area. And another beautiful sunset. We were going to stop at the Bruno Dunes, which is the tallest sand dune in North America, 470 feet above the desert floor. But we decided we didn't want to pay to do that today. We took the Thousand Springs Scenic Byway. This was our first stop. Very windy and cold. An overlook over the Snake River and telling us about the Thousand Springs Scenic Byway. This is a fun setup on the river. And here we can see why it was called Thousand Springs. There were many of these springs along this canyon wall. We spent our last night at Massacre Rock State Park. We had a beautiful campsite overlooking the river and there were some walking trails and some fascinating history. Still following the Snake River through the Snake River Canyon. In Wyoming, we say we have two seasons, winter and road construction. This is the National Elk Refuge, located just outside of Jackson. These elk come down in the wintertime and go back into the mountains in the spring and summer. And we have the bison at Elk Ranch Flats. Back on Togany Pass and the Continental Divide, 9,658 feet. Still snow, but at least it's not on the road. We unloaded the trailer and headed to my sister's for Cinco de Mayo. And on the way, we have the Red Rocks, where you can usually find bighorn sheep. found this shed deer horn in our yard the next morning. I'm always excited to find those as I use them for decoration. Thanks for joining us in our travels of Follow the Sun RV. And stay tuned for our Wyoming adventures. <laughs>